Welcome back to a new episode of .NET MAUI 101. In this episode, we're going to talk about menu bars, so kind of like the main menus inside of your Windows and Mac OS application, um, if you will follow me this way. Welcome back to your daily dose of .NET MAUI 101. I'm your host, Gerald, and in this episode, we're going to look at menu bars. Now, the menu bars are kind of interesting. Well, they're not that interesting. It's super easy to implement in .NET MAUI. Uh, but what I always find interesting is the user experience between Windows and Mac OS. So in Windows, it's kind of like more contained within one window. So in your own window, you have the little menu bar, and you can click on it, and you can go through the whole menu, uh, menu right there, and you can have sub items and all that kind of stuff. Um, but on Mac OS, you kind of like have this detached menu bar, right? The menu bar is always at the top. And um, no matter where you put your window on the screen, there will always be that menu bar right on the top. And you can always find it there. Both have kind of like their pros and cons. Um, I work with both Windows and both Mac OS. But do let me know in the comments down below which one you like. Um, but in either case, we're going to see how to implement that in your .NET MAUI application. So here we are in Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to show you this on Windows today, but I assure you, if you take this code and you run it on macOS, it will look and feel the, well, the exact same way, but as it should on macOS, because that's how .NET MAUI works. It translates it to the paradigms of the operating system that you're running it on. So here we're going to see it on Windows, and I just created a new .NET MAUI project, which you can see right here. Um, disregard this line. This is what I'm going to show you line by line in a little bit. I already prepared the code, but otherwise we just have this simple content page with a scroll view, um, a vertical stack layout, an image of a cool race car with a .NET bot in it, label, label, button, right? So that's the very simple new .NET MAUI template that we got right here. But even with this, we can implement the menu bar super, super easy. So the one thing that you do want to note is that you have to wrap it kind of like inside a navigation page, which will happen automatically with the new template because that's using .NET MAUI shell. Um, else you want to make sure that you're inside of a navigation page and then it will automatically add the menu items to that navigation page level. So if we expand this a little bit here, you want to say, hey, content page also works of course with like other types of pages, dot menu bar items. And we can um, kind of like say, um, hey, we want to have this menu bar item. And you can set this up like in all kinds of different ways, right? Depending on what kind of cool layout you want to do. Um, and if you have watched my videos about the context menus, which I highly recommend you do, um, then you will see some familiar stuff because we are reusing the same menu items right here. So that means you can also have them show up kind of like in two different places, but do the same thing. So we have the menu bar item that's kind of like our container for like the whole menu bar for this content page. And then we have a menu bar item. So that's going to be our first level of menu bar items. That's going to be the things that you're going to see on the actual menu bar. That's the first thing that your users are going to see. And then inside of that, we can have the kind of like sub menu, right? So we have the menu flyout item. In this case, just one item count, which has the same um, clicked event as the button that we see down here for this button for the counter button. So whenever we click this uh, menu bar item right here, we are are also going to increment the button. So that all works. I just reuse that event. You can, of course, implement uh, another event. You can implement a command if you're using MVVM. All that stuff just works. Then I have another menu item. So we're going to see this text app and we're going to see YouTube. But this can, you know, more typical scenarios are like file, um, I don't know, edit, uh, view, um, help. I don't know, those kinds of like menus, right? Like high level menus. Um, and inside of that, I have a menu flyout item, hello, which doesn't do anything. Um, but just to show you the concept of how things could look and feel, we have this menu flyout separator, which have a very fine line, or of course, depending on the operating system that you're running on, we have this fine line uh, between hello and the rest here um, so that you can you know divide it up into kind of like groups if you will and then under that we have another sub item this time where we have the text you want to dot 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 so here you can have this sub menu within the sub menu it will all become clear if I run it in a minute right here um, but now we can have menu fly out items nested inside of that and we will have kind of like a drop down coming from that menu so there is all kinds of things, all kinds of flexibility that you can um, um, add to this to make the menus work for your application. So if I run this on Windows right now, you will see that very simple template coming up in a WinUI application that we have implemented right here. And you will see in the top left,
left that we have our uh, main menu. So if I pull this together here um, with like the example next to it, then we have this app, right? So that's that's the thing right here. We have YouTube, which is the thing right here. And if I click on that app, you will see this count, which is the menu flyout item here. So if I click on that, you will see that the button increments, right? So I can increment it here, or I can go to app count and you can implement it. Uh, you can trigger it like that. Now for the YouTube thing, if I click that, you can see that hello. So again, we have here the hello. We have the flyout separator. It is a little bit come closer to the screen. You can see it, this very, very subtle separator right here, but you can see we have these two groups. And then you have the flyout sub item. You want to subscribe to my channel. Maybe that's something that you want to do. Do it right now, right below this video. So you can subscribe to my channel. And we have this menu right here. So that is how you can implement these menu bars inside of your .NET MAUI application. You've just learned how to implement menu bars inside of your .NET MAUI application. How does that make you feel? Let me know down in the comments. Um, and of course, free of charge, um, you can now also run this code without any changes on macOS, and there you will have the cool menu bar for your application as well. Now, what if I told you that you can also add shortcut keys to this, so you don't even have to touch the menu, you can have shortcut keys for all the options inside of your menu. Go check out the next video that will pop up on your screen to go to that one directly, or check out the full playlist of .NET MAUI 101 bits for all kinds of snippets. See you for the next one.